Okay, this is going to be a quick overview of some software that I've created, and this particular par portion of it I'm still working on. If you go to github.com forward slash melx1000 and search my repositories for Fireware, it's a package full of a bunch of firefighter software that I've created, and today we're going to be looking at one element of it, the shift exchange. And real quick, a shift exchange is basically um, if I need a day off and I can't get vacation for whatever reason, I can work, have someone else work for me and then later on I owe them a day. Um, and this software just makes it easy for uh, us to keep track of that. Instead of having a bunch of paperwork, uh, which is always still good to have, but you can quickly search through this once you have these entries made to see who's worked for you and who you've worked for and figure out who owes who what days. Um, so. Real quick, it's definitely designed more for, although it will work on a desktop like I'm running it here, um, it's designed more for tablets and phones. And uh, once it's installed on a server, this is the main screen here. You have a search name field, a person one, a person two, a date field, and a comment field. So what I'm going to do here is I could type someone's name in like Bob Smith. Um, as you can see right there, typos happen, and if you have someone named Michael, for example, you might call him Mike, you might call him Michael, what you enter him in as makes it important for what you're going to search later on. So what I did was create a list that will pop up here once you start typing. So for example, if I want Tom for work to, for me, I can type in Tom, I can click there, and then I can type in my name, let's say my name is Tim, and I can click there and it adds his name there. So the names are entered in properly. Again, you can type them manually if you want. Next field is a date field. We click on here, pick the date that someone's going to work for somebody. So you can read it down the page. Tom Dane will work for Tim Smith on this day. And then you can leave a comment, and a comment can be anything you want. You can say payback, so you know that this is a payback, you're, you're, you're equalizing who owes what, balancing it out. Or you can say uh, vacation to Miami or whatever. You know, whatever comments you want to help you remember why you did the shift exchange. Next you can click submit. It says exchange is logged. Now at this point, you can make changes. If you went, oh, I typed in the wrong name or I typed in the wrong date or I forgot to put in a comment, you can change it. But once you leave this page, it's, it's, it's in there. Um, so that's how you enter in someone's name. I can create a new entry. Now you'll notice when I click new entry or if I was to leave and come back to this page, you can see that it left will work for Tom Smith. Because I'm making an assumption at that point that if you're filling out this paperwork, you're filling it out for someone to work for you, so your name's going to be the second name. And I just want to make it simple for you to not have to type in your name every time. Uh, not that it's a big deal. Just one more convenient thing there. If you want to change it, you can always hit the X to clear that out. Or if you were to search through here, and let's say this time you're writing it so that someone you're going to work for somebody, you can go like this, and the second name you click will change the second field. It rotates back and forth between the two. Now, once entries have been entered, you can click up here on View Entries. And you can see, by default, it shows you a list of every entry with your name, regardless of what side you're on. So you can see here that we have um, Tom Dane will work for Tim Smith on this day. And then Tim Smith will work for Chris Occupinti on this day. That's my real name. And Tim Smith will work for Chris Occupinti on this day. So you can see right off the bat, since all these entries are in, that... Well, Tom is going to work for Tim, so Tim will owe him a day, and I'm Tim at this point. Um, but I have worked, or will work, for Chris on this day and this day, so Chris will owe me two days. Now you can filter out the list, and let's say, oh, well, that's not me, I'm Tim, I'm not Tim, let's say I am Chris Akapindi. I can go to change user, and this is a little glitch, again, this is a work in progress, I need to change here. If I go back and then change user again, the full list comes up. It's it's just a little line of code I need to change. But I can come in here and I can search through this list and say, okay, I'm Chris Acapinti. Well, here's a list of every entry with Chris Acapinti, regardless of what side of the exchange I'm on. And let's say, oh, you know, hey, 
does Tim owe me a day or do I owe Tim a day? I can type in Tim and it shows every entry with Tim and Chris Acapinti. And I can see right here, oh, okay, I owe him two days. Or how about Tom? Okay, uh, looks like Tom still owes me a day. So it makes it very easy for you to get this. Now, let's say that you're one of those people and you want a paper copy just in case something happens to the server, which is not necessarily a bad idea. Um, I personally don't like printing stuff, but maybe storing something locally. There is a printable list here. You can click that and it gives everything in the database, who will work for who, on what day, and what date and time that was entered into the database. So you can print, or I wouldn't print, I would just save it. You know, I would print to PDF or something, just because I hate paperwork, but that way I have my own copy. Um, but if you want to physically print it or print it to a device, uh, you can do that and have a full list here. And of course, you can also print this screen if you wanted. Um, but if you want a full list of everybody, of every entry in the database, this would be that. Um, and if I go back here, and then I can go back and make a new entry. So that is a quick overview of the program. Uh, again, designed mainly for tablets and phones, but works on desktops as well. I recommend uh, Chrome or Firefox. Those are browsers I've tested it in and have found that it works well, but should work on most devices as long as they have a modern browser. Again, I'll probably be making some more tweaks to this, and I hope that you check out the annotation on the screen to the full playlist, which will show you, bring you to the next video as well, which will have a little bit of an overview of the code and how the program actually works. As always, I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share.